It has been over 10 years since we've had all three of these guys together. Really the beginning of Cat Week. It started with Jonas Brothers and Cat Week. So uh, let's take a look back. You know our next guest well. They're a huge pop sensation. Please welcome the Jonas Brothers. All right, uh, Nick. Yes. And uh, Kevin. Joe. Joe. Yeah. And, and Kevin. Kevin, yes. All right. Ellen. Uh, yes, I'm Ellen. Hi. Okay. This is crazy. You're huge. Do you know that? Uh -huh. Huge. <laughs> You keep just getting more and more famous, and you're still the same guy. Please welcome the Jonas Brothers. I thought we'd all sit down on you. I thought oh, we were gonna. I, I, I felt it. I know. I, I thought you want to do it, and then you stuck with the brothers. I missed the memo. Sorry. Uh, well, we didn't really rehearse it. I just thought we, we didn't. were in tune. You know what it is? It's that you haven't visited me sooner than this, and we're out of sync. You're it's right. true. It's been far too long. Yeah, because you've gotten back together uh, like uh, how long ago? A uh, year and a half, I guess. A year and a half. Well, no, no. I mean, we announced it back in March. Right. So it hasn't right. been that long. Right, I know. And we did hear that you were upset that it's taken this long. Very upset together. because I, mean, I feel sorry. responsible for your career. You are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You are, in fact, responsible for our entire career. Now, I'm very, very, I'm happy. I mean, it's so weird. I mean, you look back on, I'm sure you are used to seeing, like, old footage of yourself. I see things and I'm frightened of what, what I look like. But um, but it, it's Same. amazing, right? To, to a lot of hair all around. There was yeah. A, yeah. So much hair. That was hey. emotional back there. We watched the clip you just showed. It's been a long ride. Right. That. That, was I mean, our, that was our first platinum record that you gave to us. It, yeah. That was my point of why you haven't been here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, no, so many memories here on you know this stage with you, on that stage right over there performing, both together and solo. So to come back now uh, is really special. So thank right. you. Is it? Uh, uh, you're welcome. Um, so. Not only were you hugely successful, obviously, starting out together, but then you went off and did solo projects, also hugely successful. Get back together, and now you have the number one CD. Your, your tour sold out in minutes. I mean, that's a big deal to go away and come back. And I'm sure, especially because y'all were so young, people would say, oh, well, that was a phase, and people were, uh, you may not be able to repeat that. Yeah, we really didn't know what was going to happen. When we right. got back together to talk about the idea of doing this, it really shows that the fans stuck around and waited and supported us through the individual projects and what we were up to, but we announced this thing and, and the music took off right away again and it, it did feel like, okay, this was meant to be, we're supposed to do this again. Yeah, mm. obviously. What were you gonna say, Kevin? You look like No, I'm just saying like, it's been beyond amazing to experience it every single night again where I truly never thought we were gonna do it again and to now have like my daughters be able to be a part of this and see it, it's just beyond. Yeah, to grow up, and all of you are married now. Things, yeah. things have changed. But so you have this documentary, which I don't know if you saw the document. It was on Amazon. Amazon. Okay. Um, it was really good. Thank you. Thank and, you. And and I think that a lot of people didn't realize, and of course it makes sense. That would be really tough to grow up and be competitive and and to to have your differences and uh, and to be together all the time. Um, but it got bad, right? Oh, by the end, yeah, it got really rough. Right. Um, you know, I, I think all families go through their own version of our story. Uh, and if not, then you're the lucky ones. But, uh, you know, you got to find your dynamic as siblings within your adult relationship. And when you compound the fact that we were working together every single day, uh, in theory, it was a, a business. It was a full operating machine. Um, and we were just trying to remain close as family amidst that. So when that decision came to end it, I think that the, the next step, which you probably saw in the doc, was just in discovering who, who we are as family yeah. and uh, actually building a relationship outside of our work and our creative life. And what we found is that we actually really like each other. Yeah. Uh, Turns which out. Is, which is a blessing and, and <laughs> took some convincing. Joe was the last to, to come on board. but Really? Yes. Why is that? Because it was your idea uh, to break up, your idea to get back together. Right, right. yeah. Full circle redemption. Story. Exactly. <laughs> right. I, was, I wasn't so quick to forgive Nick just yet. Uh, but we worked through it, and ultimately, I, I miss being on stage with these guys. It's so special and so fun, and 
there's a magic that happens when we get up there and perform together that it's hard to repeat or, or, or recreate. So it, it felt like the right timing. Yeah, and it, it, as, as much as it, I'm sure, is fun to be, to have a solo project, to have, to, to be able to look at each other and have that, that camaraderie, that connection, and get that energy from the audience, it's, it's compounded, I would, I would think. It's unreal. That Definitely. first night on this tour, it's called the Happiness Begins Tour. Yeah. Uh, our whole idea was let's bottle up the happiness that we feel in our lives um, and let's bring that to the world. It was a lot of negativity. Actually, I want to say one thing, too. Your monologue at the beginning uh, about accepting all people from all walks of life and different viewpoints is amazing. So hats off to you for Thank that. You. Thank you. Um, and I think the kind of messages we all need to hear, you know, and, and that was kind of what we were feeling, was there's so much negativity out there and people judging others. And um, if we can just make people smile and just realize that, you know, life is a beautiful thing and you get to share that with people you love, it's a, a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing and life is a beautiful thing totally. and we need to remember that. More with Jim, Jim Brothers after this. We are back with the Jonas Brothers. Nick, you tweeted something out today. I said, I'm gonna see you in a few hours, so I thought I would let you make this big announcement now. Well, I said I'm gonna make the announcement tomorrow, though. I know, but I want you to do it today. You owe me because, <laughs> remember we just talked about how you were so sorry that you haven't been here sooner? Yeah, you kinda owe her. So this would make us even? I'm thinking so. But I, I have the whole, like, plan for tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna ruin it then. <laughs> I'll, how? All right, I'm, I gonna love this. I'm gonna show you a clip, and it's gonna ruin your, your... I'm what? Gonna, uh -oh. I'm gonna show you a clip. I, I gave you a chance. Oh. Uh Okay. Nick Jonas, how you doing, buddy? I heard that uh, you're going to be a, a new coach on The Voice, and I wanted to, uh, first of all, say congratulations, I guess. Uh, but second of all, voice some concerns that I have. I'm gonna have to look through the rules, because this is my TV show. I'm not sure that you're even old enough to be a coach on The Voice, but I'm certain that uh, you're gonna get your butt kicked, buddy. Welcome. Hey, what's up, Nick? Um, Kelly here. I just wanted to say congratulations. I do definitely feel like the two Texans should maybe team up and form an alliance. I'm just saying. Nick Jonas! It's John Legend, your new co-worker. Welcome to The Voice. I just have to tell you one thing. Our mission is to destroy Blake Shelton. We have to form an alliance. Me, you, Kelly. We team up. We beat Blake. Nothing else matters, OK? Deal? I'll see you soon. That's going to be so fun. Well, I guess uh, yep. it's, it's appropriate an for, to for, make? for Cat Week. Uh, the cat's out of the bag. Yeah. I, um, I am so excited about this. I will be joining as one of the new coaches in the voice. Uh, basically, the first people I've told. So thank you for being a part of this special moment for me. Yeah. And just, just to be clear, Blake, I'm gonna kick your ass. Just now. Well. Uh, and I think Ke Kelly's point about joining an alliance might, might make sense. John, I love you, but we gotta, we gotta figure out, we gotta have a side conversation, figure some things out. No, I think it'll be great. That's gonna be really tough, because I think a lot of people are gonna wanna have you as a, as a coach. I hope so. Yeah. You know, in addition to the competitive spirit, which will be natural because I'm very competitive. Right. Uh, I, I think I'm actually looking forward to really trying to help any artist that comes on the show and wants to grow. And um, as weird as it is, Blake, that I'm so young, uh, it's, it's exciting to have had a now nearly 20-year career. Yeah, so. well, there, there you go, 20-year career. That's, I mean, you started younger than him. He started, he's what, 69, 70? <laughs> How old is he? 83. How old is he? Yeah, he's old, he's he started late. Easily yeah. 60. Yeah, up, eight. up there. Um, <laughs> On a good day. You should, be, you should be nervous, though, I think. <laughs> oh! That poor guy's been hiding in that box for a for... long time. Wow. Yes. Nick does not do scare well. You can see he's he's masking it I told with him before, if she, of water. Um, if she does this, I'm afraid I might kick somebody or punch them if they pop out. So I'm glad kick. I, I'm glad I yeah. didn't. I think we have to go to break, but for, first we'll <laughs> see. Uh, let me see that. You should be nervous, though. I think. Ah! Oh! me a lot of joy. <laughs> All right. 
We're gonna we're gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna see what happened. We surprised some fans earlier today, uh, and did we? Oh, it was great. Yes. We did. We did. We did. We'll be back today. We surprised some very lucky fans. <laughs> I, lucky. Yes. Listen, here's what we're here for. Um, we're all Jonas Brothers fans. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. So don't say it so loudly. You're with me now. Um, so uh, is there a specific song? Is there something we should sing? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Scary. How about that? We're going to take a picture. One. I'm kidding. We're not taking a picture. Oh, my God. time to be here. I know you're in the middle of a sold out tour, um, and uh, which is what makes you a nugget. Um, mm -hmm. Indeed. Never going to live that one. You're coming back in December, right? We are. Yeah. Yep. And playing the forum we, twice. Uh, the forum twice. We do have a little something, if that's okay for everyone. You, whatever. What, well, what do you, what do we kind of something got? With our great partners on this tour, American Airlines and MasterCard, we only felt like it was appropriate that everyone here can come to our forum show and just. <laughs> game with the Jonas Brothers to raise some money. Let's play Don't Burst My Bubbly. This is uh, kind of like hot potato, uh, but you see the balloon there, it's going to keep filling up until it bursts. If it bursts on you, you're out. I'm going to ask trivia questions. Whoever has the balloon and it bursts on them, uh, they're losing. You, you can't pass the balloon until you get the question right. If Nick wins, Bubbly will donate $5,000. Joe wins, Bubbly will donate $10,000. If Kevin wins, Bubbly will donate $15,000 to Suji. All right. You know what to do, guys. Nick, who's the daughter of country singer Billy Ray Cyrus? Miley Cyrus. That's right. Kevin, the beaver is the national emblem of which country? Uh, 
Canada. Yep. All right. Joe, which Jonas brother is hooked up with the most fans? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Probably me. All right. <laughs> Nick, what is the largest bone in the human, bo human body? <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a trick question. The spine? No. Oh, that's a collection of bones. Ha ha! The femur. The femur. Yes. Kevin, what was the ugly duckling? A, a, a swan? Yes. <laughs> you hesitated. It was a swan. It was a swan. All right. Kevin, you will now remove yourself from the game. It is now between these two. All right. All right, Kevin, we begin with you. The cross. Is he, is he out? Yes. Yeah, Kevin's out. I begin with him because I, I, I say thank you, goodbye. <laughs> Joe, the cross between a lion and a tiger is called what? A liger. That's right. Nick, a group of crows is called? Ha ha. Crows. A group of crows is called? Crees. Mur bur a murder of crows murder is correct, of, Nick. That's crow. right, a murder of crows. Murder. Kevin. I mean, uh, hi, Kevin. Um, <laughs> Joe. Yes. What's the strangest habit? What's your strangest habit? Um, I can balance anything. Nick, what's that the habit? only food that never that's expires? Uh, honey. That's right. <laughs> Joe, which chest piece can only move diagonally? Um, the uh, uh, diagonally. Um, it's the bishop. The bishop. bishop. The bishop is right. Nick. What is the seventh planet from the sun? Ah! <laughs> it's Uranus. <laughs> it always is. All right, you lose. You won, but we couldn't have done it without all of you. Bubbly is going to donate $30,000. Yeah! To That's how you play. No, first my Bubbly. The Jonas Brothers are going to play.